In this video, we're going to take a look at the new tool, Manual Pattern Piece, for Geomagic Freeform 2013. In this example, I'm going to use the Manual Pattern Piece tool to create a flower motif on the outside of a ring. First, I'm going to show you how to manually pattern one piece, and then we'll proceed to using multiple pieces to create a pattern. On my object list, I prepared the ring body with no elements, the base that I'm going to use to lay the elements upon, so I'll show both of those, their sharing surfaces. And to begin with, I'll use this flower piece. The manual pattern piece tool is found in Construct Clay just next to pattern piece, manual pattern piece. So I'm going to activate the icon and bring up the Dynabar. Now the first option is to select one tool piece. So to do so, I click on the flower that I want to pattern with. And now you see I get my sculpting tool with the flower attached to the end of it. Now I have tool handle access, I can choose X, like so, Y, like so, which in this case is very similar, or Z, which is the way I'm going to use it, where it's on the tip of the stylus. Now I'm going to bring back the ring body with no elements and bring back the base for the elements. and I'm going to activate the base for the elements. So now using the plus and minus keys I can control the size and if I look the tool size is also shown here. Change it to 5 millimeter. And now just like in the add clay function I can use my stylus to position the piece normal to the surface that it's on. So I'll lay down a few. Now you see I'm getting some overlap. This is dictated by the inset offset. So depending on the size of the piece, like for a 5 millimeter piece maybe I'll go in 0.5 millimeter. Now when I place it onto the surface it'll indent 0.5 millimeter. And again, if I was to change it to a positive, in, say 5 millimeter, when I place it on the surface, it'll actually appear 5 millimeters off of that surface. But the really exciting and dynamic way to use this tool is to hold the shift key as you're pushing into the surface and you can actually manually adjust the depth by controlling it on the haptic device and then hitting the button again to place the piece. This gives you the ability to dynamically lay out your pieces without having to go down to the Dynabar for every operation. So I'll set the inset at negative 0.25 and I'll just start laying out flowers across the base element. Just lining them up like so. I can use the plus and minus keys to change the size. Now if I open up my object list you'll see that a new folder has been created and that each of the manual pattern pieces is its own piece in the object list. So of course now that I have these laid out I could go into deform clay and tug and activate the given piece 
and start to sculpt it into position. Okay, so that's how we use one piece. Now I'm going to delete the work I just did. and hide the base and ring for a moment. And you'll see I have flower one, flower two, and flower three prepared. If I show all of those flowers and I go back to manual pattern piece and then go down to the Dynabar and choose select multiple tool pieces, I can then use a marquee select to choose all three pieces at once and it automatically jumps me forward to create pattern. So now I'll bring back the base for elements in the ring body activating the base and all my presets are the same but this time after I lay down one piece, I can go to these arrows, next tool piece, and it automatically loads the other flower pattern from the library. And again, the third comes up like so. And as I make the tool smaller, I can change the inset. Like so. And I can quickly build up this very complex pattern. And if I hide the base for the elements on my object list, you get a clear picture of the pattern that we're laying out over its surface. And it gives you a sense of the type of details that you can create using the new Manual Pattern Piece Tool in Geomagic's Freeform 2013.